these guys, you know, I mean, with my crested geckos, I feed them like twice a week. And they're honestly the most low maintenance pet I've ever had. I just make sure they get misted at least once or twice a day. They can tolerate a little bit of drought, uh, but their enclosure should never get below 40% humidity. They don't require intensive amount of heat. Uh, they do best at room temperature, which is like mid 70s. If you offer them a basking source, they prefer about 80 degrees. I recommend you do that in like one of the corners of the enclosure so they can thermoregulate. That way if they get too warm after basking, they have the choice to go cool off. Cool. Um, as far as lighting goes, they are a Ferguson One animal. These guys are gonna be like in the trees and the canopies and whatnot. So they're gonna have like dappled sunlight, right? But it is important to give them UV. It helps keep their uh, bones sound. They don't need a super intense UV spot. What makes these guys so unique compared to you know other reptiles out there is that they just come in so many crazy colors and patterns. You set them up bioactively and like honestly like once you have their entire enclosure set up they're sincerely like the easiest pet reptile to take care of. You just have to feed and water and clean. 